Thanks for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on this adorable Stampabella image called Penelope has a pencil. Isn't she cute? And I love that this image also comes with this cute little high sentiment. I love that. Then I don't have to search through my stash. It's already there. I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies that I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Hit the like button if you like the video and make sure you subscribe so you get an update every time I upload a new video. So, I have already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, so let's color. So, let's start out by outlining our image with C0, and let's just start right down here, and we're just going to do a quick outline all around our girl and our pencil, and you can make this as skinny or as fat as you want, and once it dries you will hardly see it, but it will give a little bit of a shadow so that it looks like she's kind of popping off the page just a little bit. Around over here. And that cute little swirl of hair she's got. Uh, let's do this side of her hair there too. And down here to the end. And then for her writing surface down here I'm going to use E50 to just quickly go across like so. And just give it a little bit of color down here in the bottom. Next, let's do her skin and her cheeks. For her skin, we're going to use E11, E21, and E00. For her cheeks, I'm going to use R02 and R12. So I'm going to start with her skin. So let's start with um, E11 down here on her arm. So I'm going to do a little bitty thin line right here next to the ruffle on her sleeve. And then, let's turn it here a little bit. I'm going to go down the underside of her arm. And I'm trying to keep my line pretty small because her arm's pretty dinky and I don't want to take up all of that space. I'm going to do her thumb right there and then I'm going to do her little fingers that she's got up here holding the pencil and I'm going to do a little bit on her neck. And then I'm going to grab E21 next and I want to touch down on top of my E11 and I'm going to flick out away from that line up into my white area. I think I'll give her fingers just a little more dab there. I'm going to cover her in her neck and then I'm going to fill in her arm with E00. And I make sure I go down clear down, I brush clear down here to the bottom of her arm to the E11 and kind of swipe up towards the top of her arm. Next, let's do her face. So again, I'm going to start with my E11. And let's go with a little line right here next to her face. And I'm going to do inside of her ear. And then I want to go underneath of her bangs. And then down this side of her face because it's tipped down. And then I'm going to grab E21. And I want to flip just a little bit away from her, that last line. And then I'm going to bring a color clear around the other side of her face. Then I'm going to take E00 to fill it in. And for her cheeks, let's take RO2. And I'm just going to go RO2 over here. And then a little bit over on this side. And then I'm going to take R12 just to soften the edges a little bit. And then I'm going to take my E00 to go over those cheeks just to soften it all and blend it all together. And I'm going to go clear across. And I think I'll do this ear one more time. It's looking kind of sketchy over there. 
for her hair, let's use E47, 44, 43, and 42. And I'm going to start with E47. And she's got some bows up here, so I'm not going to color that. But I'm going to do the base of her little bun she's got going on right here. And then I'm also going to use it to go over the lines in her bun. A little bit right up in here. And then I also want to do going away from her little bun. So a few little lines right in here. And then I want to do right here above her ear, because it's kind of tucked down behind there. And there's some lines there, so I'm just going to use those as my guide. And then let's do the end of this little piece that's hanging down. And then let's do her bangs. I'm just going to work my way across. And she's got some lines already there on her bangs, so I'm just kind of using those as my guide. And then I'm going to go with E44 next. So let's go ahead and go down here. And we're just going to work our way across her bangs. And then same for the top. And I'm keeping my stripes going in the direction that her hair is going. And then let's go kind of in a little circle up here around her bun. Next we're going to go with E43. I'm just going to add a few of these lines in there. And up here on her bun. And then I'm going to go with E42. And I'm just going to go ahead and swirl that over the entire bun here. And then let's add a few of these little streaks in here. Then I'm going to go back with my E47 and just add a little bit of more shadows in here. So let's go along here. Let's do her hair bow and her dress next. For that, we're going to use EO9, EO8, and E17. I'm going to start with my EO9 up here on her cute little ribbon she's got in her hair. Put a little bit of that in here. Right here, and then she's got this cute little curly cue going on. And then over here, she's got a little bit. And that's pretty skinny in there, so you got to kind of be careful with your your pin, and I'm going to bring this color because it's on the bottom up a little bit more. And then I'm going to go with EO8. Leave the end of that bow. Same for over here. Let's leave a little bit over there. And then we're going to fill it in with our E17. That. Okay, that looks cute. All right, then we'll go down here and we'll do your dress. So again, I'm going to go with um, E09. And let's do our sleeve first. So I'm just going to go right along the edge of her sleeve and flick up here into about a quarter of the way on her, on her sleeve there. And I left the ribbon here on the edge of her um, sleeve white. And then let's do right here next to her arm and down the edge of the pencil. And then we want to go also underneath of her arm. That. And let's go down the back of her dress. And then let's.
let's go along the bottom. And then right here it kind of bumps up, so I'm going to give that a wrinkle. And right here's a wrinkle, so I'm just going to bring that in. That. And then for her skirt, I'm going to use each of these lines that are already on here and just draw, draw right down those. Then I'm going to go with EO8. So let's go ahead and fill in right here on her dress in between her arm and her pencil. And then we're going to add a little bit to her sleeve. And then we want to soften this line down here. And then for her skirt, I also want to add, I'm going to make these lines just a little bit wider. And then we're going to fill it in with our E17. Go all the way across. Try not to get down here past my writing area. And then I'm going to go back with my EO9 and I want to add a little bit more of these shadows back in. So let's add a little bit on her sleeve and around her dress and bring these wrinkles up and then I'm just going to leave it like that with the shadows on there. Let's work on the pencil next so let's do the eraser first for that we're going to use V28, RV17, R43 and R30 I'm going to start with my R20, or, sorry, V28 first and let's do that right here in this corner. Like that. And then I'm going to go with RV17. So I'm going to go right over the top of that last color. And I'm going to flick past. And then I'm going to grab R43. And I'm not worried that it's not blended because I'm going to go back over it and darken the whole thing up with a second coat and then R30 and then I'm going to again go with V28 RV17 R43 and then R30. And I'm going to take my R30 and I'm going to brush it back down here towards my V28 and kind of squish all those colors together and make them softer. For the silver top here on the top of the pencil, we're going to use C7, 5, 3, 1, and double zero. I'm going to start with um, C7. And let's do that right along this edge. I'm trying not to color that hair bow. And then I'm going to bring that color on the inside of the little bow too. Then I also want to do these lines. So let's go on the bottom side of this line and the bottom of this one, the top of this one, and the bottom of this one. And then I'm going to grab C5. Let's go add some more color here, fill in in between this bow, and then I also want to do the edges of these lines that I already darkened up. And then we'll go with C3, C1. 
I'm not worried that they're not blending because I'm going to do a second coat and then C double zero. Okay, then we're just going to start over. So I'm going to grab C7. Let's go right down the edge here. And then, of course, underneath each of these lines. And next to C5. C3. C1. And then C00 to fill it in. And then I'm going to just brush all the way across soften and squish those colors together and kind of push them back towards this dark section over here. For the body of the pencil, let's use C1, Y23, Y32, and YR20. I'm going to start with my C1 and let's do a small shadow on the bottom of our pencil down here and then I want to bring it up over this side of the pencil line too. And bring that along her arm here too. And then I want to just go around her face. I'm just going to work my way around her hair and over to this side. I'll fill it in here in between this bow since it's going to be so dark in there. Then we're going to go with Y23, and then I want to go right over the top of that C1 that I just put down. Work my way down here to the bottom. And then with this color, I also want to do um, on top of the line. So let's go right along here. And then over here, this cute one right here, and I also want it to go clear across, so let's go over here and kind of skip in between some of this hair bow we got. Next I'm going to go with Y32, so now let's flick up here a little bit away from our line. Do a little dab here. There's not much room there, so I'm just going to do a little dab along the edge. And then I'm going to take YR20 and I'm going to brush it across the entire pencil area. So starting clear down here where I did the C1, I'm just going to brush all the way across to the other side. Just want to get the edge here. For the sharpened part of the pencil, we're going to use E53, 51, and 50. I'm going to start with E53, and let's use this right along the edge here. And I'm going to go over this a second time, so I'm just going to brush a little bit this time. And then E51 is next. And then E50. And I'm going to leave a little bit of white there for the, on the edge for the next swipe through. I'm going to go with E53. I'll bring it up past this pencil edge here. And then E51. I'll bring it on 
this side of the pencil edge and then E50 to fill it all the way in. So that leaves us with the penciled lead. For that we're going to use C10, 8, and 6. I'm going to start with my C10. Let's just do a little swipe right along the bottom here. And then we'll add a little bit more with our C8. And then lastly, we'll take our C6 to fill it all the way in. I'm going to scrub over the entire area with that. So now I'm going to add the dots to her cheeks and to her dress with my Sharpie White paint pen, and I shook that um, off camera. You wanted to make sure to shake it too with the lid on so you don't spray paint everywhere. So I'm just going to add a couple little dots to her cheeks. And then on her dress, I wanted to add a little bit of dots since I painted it brown to go with the paper. I thought maybe it could have a little bit more excitement with a few little embellishments on there. And you can put as many dots as you want. I think I put too many last time, so I'm just going to go with a few this time instead of having quite so many. And then down here, I think I'll just put a few random ones instead of doing the three that I had before because it seemed a little busy. So there is our beautiful Penelope has a pencil all colored up. Didn't she turn out wonderful? And then again, here is the finished card. So on my card, I used some Spica glitter pen on her hair in clear to add um, some sparks to her hair. And then down here on the writing, I took my um, Spica black pen and just went over the top of that writing to give it a little bit of sparkle. Um, and I also, in your kit, you have a little bit of twine that you can put around this cute little button die cut here. So I hope you had fun coloring with me. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>